Hola, I hope you all are doing well. Today I have another wig show and tell for you guys today. And today's wigs are brought to you by Hair Supply Shop. So I'll be sure to leave a link below to this wig in their dark store. The brand of the wig that I have today is Bobby Boss. I have one of their glueless HD lace wigs. The style that I have is MLF456 Charlet in the color TT9A slash grape and the color 2. First, I'm going to show you guys what the color 2 looks like. Here is what the color 2 looks like straight out of the box. The texture of it is on the silky side. The lace is supposed to be HD transparent. So you get your 13 by 7 hand tied lace parting. Behind the parting space you get two combs and another comb in the nape area with adjustable straps. The cap material does stretch so it comes with a comfy flex fit cap. And also they attach a extra elastic band for extra security. This color is very ashy on my skin but we still gonna make it work boo. So y'all know I love my Andis high comb. So I got this on the temperature five. Here I go, we go slay this, let's go. So this is what the wig hairline looks like straight out of the package. Yes, the baby hairs is very long, but y'all know how I am. Y'all know what I'm gonna say behind these long baby hairs is a flawless hairline. So we're gonna like attack that straight hairline and make it a little jagged and zigzag because Nobody hairline in reality looks like that. So I'm just gonna show you guys again because I show you guys plenty of time in my videos how to do it. And it's really simple because the hairline is already pre-plucked. So I'm just going in and I'm pressing down the hairline with the hot comb. If you do not have a hot comb, you could use mousse. And like I said, just attack that hairline. The tweezers that I'm using is like slanted. So use the slanted side and just go back way and random spots y'all you got this you got this boo come on vision the hairline believe in yourself So this is what it looks like after I'm all done plucking. And I told you guys, super simple. Attack the hairline, but you can also go in and pluck it just a little bit more. So to make the hairline pop a little bit more too, I'm going back in with the Andis hot comb. And I don't know, just something about that makes it show the jagged effect. Like, I love it! So now I'm just taking out the baby hairs. Some of y'all are probably like, wow, a hot comb on a synthetic wig. Just remember, do not put the temperature too high because you do not want to melt the hair. Don't get carried away now. After you cut your lace off, if you want, you could cut your baby hairs while still on the mannequin head or while it's on your head.
One thing I love about the TTA grape color is the roots are not black. It's like a dark plum color, like come through Bobby Boss. So this one has those long baby hairs too. And this is how the hairline looks when it comes. But I already showed you guys how I plucked the hairline. So I went ahead and plucked this color off camera. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and style it. And for this, I would like to do little two I don't know if it's called space buns or whatever, but I'm trying it with the half up, half down style. Now I'm gonna take my powder and my foundation and I apply these underneath the lace to the spots that will be showing. And on the hairline, I apply the foundation. So far the hairline is looking really nice, but my cap is showing underneath so I'm just pushing it back more so you cannot see it from the hairline. The wig is laying pretty nice and flat but the air tabs is lifting up so to hold it down I'm just going in with the olive oil super hard hold spray and I'm just spraying one layer on the hairline. If I was to go out and wear this wig I would actually spray the whole hairline twice and then just to pat that in I'm using the end of a rat tail comb. A lot of you guys should know this, but I'm gonna say it anyway, just in case you're a beginner. Make sure if you're using spray, you blow dry until it's nice and dry. Do not blow dry halfway and go out the door. Make sure it's completely dry, boo. And look at that, I'm not even done yet, and so far this is looking so nice. Like what? This is so lovely, you guys. So now I'm gonna go in and style the baby hairs, but right now the baby hairs are just a little too thick for my liking So I'm just tweezing some of it out So y'all already know when it comes down to the baby hairs, lord, I be struggling sometimes like it takes me at least nine to 10 minutes if I'm doing baby hairs. I gotta get it right. You see how I did that swoop just now and it, it just wasn't it. Don't be scared to go back in and fix your baby hairs.
right here is pretty much my end result on the color too and ugh, god i'm trying not to get too hype right now because you guys this looks so freaking nice the texture is on a silky side as for the density the density is very full but not too full like ultra nisha like this is a nice calm full as for the lace the lace blends really nicely with my skin and i don't even have the whole thing like spray down that's the crazy part only by the air tabs and up to the temples you guys wow bobby boys y'all did it again like what so the length of this wig on me is about 22 to 24 inches my height is a 5 6 i experienced a shedding but nothing too hectic mostly was the shedding from the plucking i did as a tangling i did get a few snacks here and there but not that much because i did go in with a wide tooth comb and now it's on to the next color So the same way I installed the color two is the same way I'm going to install this one. I'm just spraying the air tabs up to the temples and I'm only spraying one layer then going in with the blow dryer and blow drying it until it's completely dried. So because I just used the got to be glue gel, it's a little sticky and stuff on my forehead. So I'm just going in first with um, mousse to style the baby hairs. And after that, when I get the baby hairs laying in the place that I want it, I'm just going to go over it lightly with a little bit of the got to be glue gel. done and this is so cute i love 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 how the hairline came out and i love how the lace blends well with my skin the same thing i have to say about this wig is the same thing i just said with the first one the density is on a thick side but it's still lightweight as for the size on both of the wigs they are big head friendly if you have a small head just tie the adjustable straps or crisscross the adjustable straps but if you are trying to do an updo style be careful on how tight you make the adjustable straps because it will pull back the air tabs so this is really nice same thing with this one i did get shedding but it could be due to the fact that i went and plucked the hairline and i did get some tangling with a few snags here and there but it is a long synthetic wig and it's better if you go in with a wide tooth comb so you could keep that wave pattern you know you feel me you feel me vroom, vroom. so the lace blends really nicely with this one i should have put a little bit of powder on the wig by the um, middle part but it's all right so i'll keep that in mind for next time if i ever do keep this wig or wear it 
and yeah i love it i really do bobby boss y'all did it again this is a great version here too so if you have any questions feel free to comment below and i'll get back to them as soon as possible and i'll see you guys in my next video later you guys